Good morning, it's Emma here from Way to Fitness. How are you this magic Monday? Oh my gosh, we've been wiping tears out of our eyes having watched the, um, the Olympic roundup this morning. Oh, they're calling uh, the, today Magic Monday on the uh, Tokyo Olympics because we're doing so well. I mean, I don't usually watch sport on telly. That's what Andy does. But the Olympics has been so captivating so far. I don't know if you've been watching any of it. Oh my gosh. Today, uh, today alone, um, um, Adam Peaty's got a gold medal in the pool. Uh, Tom Daly and uh, Matty Lee have just won gold medals uh, diving. Um, and there's just been some incredible stories of achievements. And Tom Daly, who they've just interviewed, um, was saying that this is, this is his fourth Olympics to, and he has just won a gold medal 13 years after his first attempt in the Olympics. Um, just incredible to think that someone has such focus, hi Lou, such focus and such determination to, to succeed. We... Um, we spent um, a little bit of time yesterday watching the ladies' road race. Um, Andy absolutely loves cycling. I don't. But um, I'm quite happy to watch bits of it. And uh, we've watched, uh, well, he's watched three weeks of the Tour de France. Um, and he was fascinated to watch the ladies' road race yesterday. So we lay in bed yesterday morning and watched the last 20 minutes. It was so exciting. Um, Basically, in a road race, if you don't know much about cycling, in a road race, there's a lot of people doing the cycling, okay? But they have something called a peloton, which is basically the pack. And the pack stay pretty much together. And they kind of alternate who goes near the front to do the most work and the people back with a bit of slipstreaming makes it a little bit easier for them. Although, I mean, it's crazy fast. Um, and then usually you get a few people out the front <clears throat> And then eventually the peloton catches them up and then someone from the peloton usually breaks for it and they win. But in the ladies' road race yesterday, it was a completely different story. Uh, the uh, Dutch team were tipped to win. Very strong Dutch team. I don't know any of these names because they're quite long and unpronounceable. But anyway, we'll just go country. <laughs> so in the peloton, they had the uh, Dutch team were at the front of the peloton, and they were. And then they, there was a bit of a breakaway, so they broke away and they were just pedaling at the front, you know, as they do. But what they didn't realise, because in the Olympics they don't have radios like they do in the Tour de France, there was actually a little known, uh, where was she from? Don't tell me, Austria. There was an, there was an Austrian lady, she, um, she's considered an amateur, she's not even signed to a professional team yet. She was out the front of the front runners, so, um, and she was just peddling like, Fiore, I think it was over 140 kilometers was this road race. She was so out the front, they all forgot about her. She kept going, kept going, kept going, okay? So that obviously she eventually won, right? About minutes behind, because you know, they can't see, they've got to have those corners and stuff. They couldn't see she was out the front. So that when the Dutch rider finished, she thought she'd won because she thought she was at the front. But actually, she was second because the Austrian one had already won. And it's kind of like, oh, the stories. To think that that woman had, had, was able to focus and work so hard for so long is absolutely awe-inspiring. So if you haven't watched much of the Olympics, watch the roundups. There are so many incredible stories of people doing incredible things. And it is just so, um, let's be inspired by them. None of, very few of us are ever going to be Olympic athletes, but we can really take on how these people focus. Um, they don't make excuses, they just do it, and they have a goal which they are working on. And I mean, in someone like uh, Tom Daly's case, his goal has taken 13 years to achieve. He got his gold medal this morning, and wowzer, is he chopped. <laughs> so, oh, amazing. So I hope that you can watch little bits of... Um, of the Olympics uh, because it, the stories behind those people um, competing are just incredible. 
Now, away to fitness, as you can see, my background's changed. Uh, the studio is finished, well, pretty much finished. There's a few little bits left to do, but I'm gonna be teaching my first class this morning. Let's hope it all works. Um, and um, that's really, really exciting. Hi, Sue. So we've basically got our lounge back because I've been teaching in the lounge for the last 18 months. So this is lovely to have a, a dedicated space that we haven't got to keep collapsing and putting back up again. Um, and um, it's, yeah, no dogs. Although people were saying, yes, but we're gonna miss the dogs, Emma. <laughs> Thanks, Lou. I said, oh, don't worry. I'm sure we can have some canine company from time to time. Because um, if you haven't done any way to fitness sessions, you won't know, but the dogs just sort of wander in, sit on my mat and go, get off it, it's my mat. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, so today we've got cardio flex online at 10 o'clock and then we've got uh, sweat and stretch and men on mats at Sanford Parish Hall tonight. It's the last one of the term for the face-to-face -face classes, it's the last week. Uh, we'll be pausing sessions over August. Pilates is just going to Zoom, all right, so that's not changing at all, but it's just going to Zoom. Um, and then face-to-face -face classes restart week commencing the... Um, 6th of September. So um, that's really exciting. If you're interested in doing some face-to-face -face classes um, come September, there's going to be two pure stretch sessions in Exeter on a Wednesday night. That starts on Wednesday the 8th and obviously we will... Sweat and Stretch is going to have a new name. Uh-huh, I'm going to tell you about that later, not today. Uh, but there will be a lovely combo sweaty stretchy class uh, in Sanford on a Monday and we will be restarting Men on Mats which is our Pilates yoga mix for men. Um, and that's really popular. So if you know a bloke that would like to move more easily and just feel stronger and just a little bit better about themselves, get them to get in touch. Uh, key moving, it will be back, which is our seated or standing exercise session on a Tuesday morning. That will be on this week and then we restart that as well. So um, yeah, lots going on here and obviously lots from the studio too. Anyway, have a really good week. Try and catch as much Olympics as you can. It is so inspiring. Um, and maybe it might inspire you to pull the bindweed off your bike wheels. Now, I'm only saying that because I've got bindweed bind around my bike wheels. <laughs> it might get you, inspire you to get a swimming costume out. If it's rotted, buy a new one and get out in the pool, get out in the sea. Just get active because it has so many physical and well-being benefits. Have a great Monday, see you soon, bye.